but he's playing weird stuff. But he's going to just put like a Hulk or a Chavez down, and I'm going to lose four cubes. I'm pretty sure that's about what I'm about to experience is losing four cubes, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll commit for the science and see what happens. What does he got here? Sunspot? Sunspot? <laughs> okay. Hey everyone, thanks for coming to check out this video on Debris, the card I opened on stream today. Um, she's really cool. She throws these rocks and takes up space on your enemy's board, which uh, they aren't usually expecting. I put the deck building uh, and draft at the very end. Um, the audio got kind of messed up on that part of it. Um, but if you enjoy it, it's just the game audio in the background is a little loud. Um, but if, it's there if you enjoy it at the end. Um, and uh, be sure to give me a follow on Twitter so you can uh, learn when I'm gonna be opening up my next card on stream i will do every single card on stream and uh come join me give us a follow along so enjoy the games i'm looking forward to it but let's just let's get the game and going hello right money yeah i want to i want to maybe make a continuous uh uh narrative here i think i i want to want to play through the game consecutively if that mat uh, makes sense i do play other decks off stream on my phone um but uh yeah i'm trying to generate a story thank you okay i'm gonna put ant-man here on dream dimension Yeah, right now I'm going to have shorter streams for a little while. Um, right, Money, I'm not going to be able to really commit to a specific schedule. But come August, um, I will have a big opening. Oh, they snap me already. Titus 49er snap me. Ugh. I do like that there's a lot of tokens already. But I don't like that I don't have a play. Um, but I will have longer streams eventually and more regular, and hopefully it'll change. But right now I'm, I'm planning on just sort of generating a narrative and producing it cleanly on YouTube and letting it live for a little bit. And then, oh, world ship. Yes, yes. I've been looking for world ship. So speaking of which, I was going to do a location guide and I've been waiting for world ship this whole time uh, because I think it's such a cool, iconic uh, location, uh, which just destroyed the other two. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to storm juggernaut on this. This is going to be bonkers. This is going to be an amazing GIF if it, pull, if it gets pulled off. <laughs> what is he going to play? What are they going to play? <laughs> Bucky Barnes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, what? I don't know what, what happens if I play juggernaut. I've never, I've never seen this happen before. This is science right here. You get a thumbs up. Okay. Nothing. Uh, nowhere to go. Okay. Oof. Okay. So they got 14. I've got six. Obviously, Debris uh, loses the game for me. Does Blue Marvel... Is there an out here? <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'll thumbs up you. This is this is the most amazing stream kickoff I've ever seen. I I, I just retreat, right? I can't do anything. Storm wrecked it. Yeah, I retreat. I retreat now. I, I should have retreated last turn. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not advertising as being the smartest player. I'm okay, but I'm just in the mid 40s because I'm messing around, right? I want to do the thing. I want to be the Timmy that, that got a fun experience playing the game as designed. That, that's my that's my goal here. Okay, so I'm gonna Angela Korg Ant-Man, and then next turn I'm gonna Debris, and they are gonna, they might be a bot, um, but they are gonna have some trouble with that. I'm gonna have some draw issues. Yeah, New York is really difficult to work with. You forget it all the time. 
There's a couple locations. One of the things that I'm going to be working on over the next uh, couple of weeks here is uh, location reviews, um, and I'm going to try to make oh Sanctum Sanctorum with Ant Man on it, um, and they're going to get uh, a rock. Oh, I, I should debris over here so that I could potentially uh, Odin. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, Mindscape. Mindscape's so frustrating. Mindscape's frustrating. Central Park's frustrating. Uh, anyways, I, I, I got I got thoughts on a lot of them. So I'll be putting out a, a videos on that at some point in time here. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll still I'll still hold on to this. Let's see what happens with Blue Marvel. Yeah, there's so much fancy art. This is definitely a bot. I might snap next term against this bot. What? I just blew Marvel, and I almost certainly... I mean, I, I definitely win Elysium. I win... Here, if uh, I have four, five plus four plus seven, oh, there's a lot of ways. There's a lot of outs. He's got a lot of outs on this one, but he's playing weird stuff. But he's gonna just put like a Hulk or a Chavez down, and I'm gonna lose four cubes. I'm pretty sure that's what what I'm about to experience is losing four cubes. But uh, I'll, I'll I'll commit for the science and see what happens. What does he got here? Sunspot? Sunspot? <laughs> okay. I, great. Wow. That was ridiculous. Look at that. 21 to 6, 12, 12, 5, 1. Wow. That is... um. Yeah, Spectrum would have run... There were a dozen different outs. But Sunspot on turn six to tie. Bot's hand must have been an absolute disaster. Kiros, this person looks like a human, this uh, opponent. Ninja, okay. I don't hate Ant-Man there. Wow, there's no space on this board. Uh, yeah, I'll Central Park, I'll uh, Korg. Hopefully this is bad for them because this is quite excellent for me. Yeah, I think if I just uh, debris now put her there or do I want to leave that open for the rock to land on just because it's cost one no it'll be slightly more power if I do it that way it's not a, a strong showing in the Shadowlands for sure but this is just a straight meta deck so A Kazar now, and I'm probably gonna Ironheart. Depends if I draw Odin. Odin's quite strong with Ironheart on Titan. Okay, so they're gonna drop a Death Clock over here, but then they don't have anything to Nova with. Uh, Angela. 
I think it's just Ironheart. I think, well, uh, Leech will really scare them, though. They could combo. I think Ironheart's a little safer. Oh, man, they're snapping. The pressure is on. I think Leech is funnier. I think Leech is more surprising. I'm doing Leech. What do they got there? What do they got there? Is that a collector? No, it's an Iron Man. Okay. Blue Marvel isn't bad. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see it. Let's 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 go for it. Science, four four cubes are on the line. We'll do one more game after this. What? What? I, I, I think they just didn't understand how their, their deck worked. And we got matched up against someone who didn't know how ordering worked. But I'll take it. We got four cubes. We finally won one. <laughs> and it was all due to my ex, uh, excellent play and, and solid deck building uh, prowess. Not, not any misplays from anyone else. <laughs> We're gonna do one more game, um, and then we'll we'll play. Uh, we'll open up a new card right after that. Oh, they were leeched. Yeah, but th th thanks, Eric. You're right. They were leeched, but that was just like wild the way they put them down. Leech is fun. Leech is cool. Yeah, the dino, killing the dino was really a big mistake. I don't know why they did that. Okay, I got nothing on turn one. Kill Angela. Then I might Squirrel Girl. There's a good chance if I get a storm, storm is going to land on this last spot. Let's see what our next few draws are. It's very likely a bot because they got cool cards. District X. Well, sure. Let's have some fun. Although White Tiger is pretty killer with Odin in hand. That's a pretty nice combo. At the end of turn five, give all cards here plus. Should I Juggernaut? On Stark Tower, I think I, I think that's the best play right this moment. We'll see what we draw. Yeah. Deadpool. <laughs> okay, I'll just put Deadpool over there just in case I figure out a way to kill him later. If you haven't seen Deadpool yet, he reads, when this is destroyed, return it to your hand with double the power. I've only seen him off of District X or um, the X Mansion. I haven't seen anyone collect Deadpool yet, so I don't know what, what level you got to get to get to him, but he's a cool card. I should have played Squirrel Girl over there. That was stupid. They just wasted two power off of Angela. Oh, well. Okay. Um, yeah, so I want a White Tiger with Odin. Um, and I think the best spot for that is right here. And that will then drop a White... That will guarantee me likely dropping a White Tiger at Stark Tower eventually. Right? Yeah, let's see what happens. It's a bot, but who cares? It's a bot with random stuff. Just waiting for this card opening in a minute. That's a cool Odin. It's a stupid play, but it's a cool Odin. Click on the thing. Can I, can I 
Can I click on? I can't. There we go. You know that thing. That is a very, very, very pretty Odin. Hulkbuster on that, on Stark Tower at the end? Sure. I'm gonna to totally take these uh, four cubes off of this uh, bot. Absolutely. Why they did not retreat beyond me, but I'm I'm happy to win with strategy and nothing else. No luck, nothing else happening there. Okay. Oh, that's a cool hide doll. It's a little old school, like 80s. It's almost like the, uh, the X-Men cards. I actually was so stoked. I got, I went in on eBay and I bought a few of the X-Men cards. I don't know if this will show up on stream very easily. But it looks like the art. It's like this one, it looks very similar. Yeah, this is a Siren. This is a potential future card right here. I don't know if Siren exists or if Siren's been in the uh, uh, expansions, but look at that. Heimdall Siren. Yeah, that's a throwback art. I dig it. More of these, please. That's my, uh, that's my jam. Okay. How much more do I need here? I need another 10. So I need to upgrade up to a legendary. Upgrade this Nightcrawler. Or Infinity, I mean. Okay, here's the card. Look at that, two minutes after. Look at that, perfect timing. I really hope it's, uh, I really am looking forward to uh, uh, Human Torch. I, 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 a move deck that is on the cusp of being good. I've also been looking forward to that um, uh, Polaris um, to enable my Kingpin deck. So let's see though, I, there, there, there's a lot of options. I, I've been intentionally holding back. Um, I wanna sort of pace this out a little bit. Um, so I'm currently at collection level 882. And the next card I will be opening will be at collection uh, level 906, which is 24 levels away. The last card that I opened was Moon Knight at collection level 858, um, which was also 24 uh, levels away. So I don't know, just uh, documenting that for posterity and if anyone wants to know or if anyone's looking for statistics or anything like that. Anyways, yeah, I'm hoping for Human Torch. Uh, let's see, what is it? Debris. She is a three energy, three power card that reads on reveal, add a rock to each other location for both players. Hmm. Okay, so like a little token-y moment. I think that I've also seen debris in like a Killmonger deck. But let's see, let's see what I can do with it. Um, I'm, I'm intrigued. I don't know if it, it'll be good. Um, let's see, what can I delete? Surfing, I think that's a Carnage Nova deck. It's a Devil I Know deck. I'll delete that. Okay. So, first thing I want in this deck, new deck called. And I want to find. Add to the deck. Once again, uh, Debris is a three energy, three power card that reads on reveal, add a rock to each other location for both players. Um, I don't know anything about the lore for Debris, but I, I will look it up uh, this evening and learn a little bit about her. Looks possible that she's from the Moon Girl uh, Devil Dinosaur franchise, um, but I haven't read those comics um, and uh, I, I, I 
haven't found the time yet, but maybe maybe I will, and I will learn a little bit about her. But she looks like she's uh, definitely going to be a tokeny deck. Um, so let me put Kazar um, in there, and maybe Squirrel Girl. Um, I played with this deck a little bit uh, a couple weeks ago, and I enjoyed it. Oh, I don't know how the sorting works. This is some old Bamboomer vibes right here. He's in here. Okay, Kazar. Your one cost cards have plus one power. Those rocks will cost one. Um, let's see, I don't want to do anything with empty spots. Um, ooh, I could, uh, they, I will have a target for a spider woman uh, and then they will all have negative one power. That could be interesting. It could be forced negatives on the opponents. Put Squirrel Girl in. Let's get a one power squirrel. Let's get more stuff out there. Um, maybe Angel. Stuff's gonna die. Although I don't like Angel in my opening hand. This might be a change moment. We'll see how this goes. Ooh, Korg. Yeah, let's put rocks in their deck too, maybe. It's cost by one. Let's see what happens with that. If that feels good, I don't know. Oh, oh Ironheart's good. Oh, and with Ironheart, I could probably put in an Odin finisher. I've been seeing that happening a little bit, and that's been fun. Um, would blue marble possibly work as well? Let's see. Having an extra turn is not good, so I don't really want that. I don't really want to lock down a location. He's going to have stuff on, the opponent's going to have stuff on their side. Uh, so Hobgoblin's not helping. There's a lot of buffing, so having lower power isn't necessarily a as big of a liability. So something like Leech could be interesting as sort of a uh, Dino Nova counter. I might want to remove Angel for something that shuts down Dino Nova. Uh, either Cosmo. I've been really digging my Storm Juggernaut combo. It's just sort of a staple as well. So I might, I'm gonna take away this bear. This was just sort of useless. Yeah, let's put Storm in there, and let's put uh, Juggernaut in there. Yeah, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play like Squirrel Girl, and I'm going to call it Debris Tokens. So this deck is called Debris Tokens, <laughs> and the goal of it is uh, to get a bunch of little guys on uh, the board, uh, some tokens. Uh, so Debris is the card we opened today, and she is going to put a rock to each other location for both players. Um, so though hopefully I'm going to be spamming their side of the deck, uh, their side of the board with one, uh, zero power one cost uh, tokens as well as mine but then I will be buffing mine and just blocking their stuff from existing. I also am putting spider woman in here because if there are enemy cards there it's going to get negative power so I can drop this on and uh, if a rock's there it's going to have negative one power which will be a little bit more painful hopefully. 
Leech is there to hopefully counter a, a Nova Carnage End if someone's been holding on to that for the whole game and is going to drop it on turn six. When I drop a Leech on turn five, it wrecks their plans. Um, yeah, and then Iron Heart will double all their power. Well, not double their power, it'll give them extra power. Odin will double Iron Heart. Storm Juggernaut's Lockdown. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's play this game. I will change it in the main menu. This is a thing I wish they will change after the beta is the selection. Um, I would love it if I was just editing a deck and I change its name and everything. I would love it if it defaulted to that right here. 